What if Goku became a genius after bumping his head? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. On year 737, a Saiyan baby was born on a planet called Planet Vegeta. But unfortunately for this Saiyan, he was completely different compared to the other Saiyan when it comes to power level. His power level was at nearly only 5 as he was declared to be the weakest Saiyan on that planet. The Saiyans always had to answer to Frieza, and one day Bardock noticed that Frieza had a bad intention, as he came to the planet to destroy it and not give orders. And because of that, Bardock, although Goku is weak, he still is his father and he did not want to see his son die, so he decided to go and save his son's life by sending him away to another planet, as Goku was being sent to a planet called Planet Earth. Freeze on the other hand went and he destroyed that planet. Goku has witnessed everything but now he's been sent towards planet earth and as you know it, he has now arrived towards planet earth. Once when Goku has arrived, his space pod has crash landed as a man who was strolling the woods saw Goku and his name was Grandpa Gohan. He was the one to find Goku and therefore he decided to take Goku and name him Goku. Goku was a very rough kid until one day Goku went and he fell in a ravine and he ended up bumping his head. As he went into a coma and once when he recovered, Goku wasn't the same child anymore. It is as if he had a lot higher IQ than before and he was much, much smarter than before. When it comes to Goku's IQ, it was off the roof as he was able to understand everything at a better rate and from there, since he has now become a genius, Goku also begun to remember his old planet and that they're a different race compared to the human but he couldn't recall the name of that race. With that, Grandpa Gohan then went and he warned Goku to never look at the moon because Goku did have an incident by transforming into a grade 8 and even told Goku that his tail is the one that turned him into a giant beast. With that knowledge in mind, Goku made sure to never look at a full moon because of what Grandpa Gohan did and because of that, Grandpa Gohan didn't die inside this series. Or at least you could say as him being crushed by Goku. And as you know it, Goku who is now genius inside this what if? has spent 10 years with Grandpa Gohan, as 10 years has passed and now he has grown into a 10 year old boy. With that, during those 10 years, Goku was introduced to Master Roshi by Grandpa Gohan, as Master Roshi was impressed with Goku's skill and one thing they noticed is that Goku is a very good observer and he could learn anything at a much higher rate. With that, Master Roshi decided to go and teach Goku everything he needs to know as a child so that he is able to be a good fighter but Goku was able to learn the Kamehameha wave and everything else in a very quick pace which got Master Roshi a bit shooken since he couldn't believe that someone can learn this something this fast. While that was happening, Bulma came to Goku's home as she was seeking the Dragon Balls and after telling Goku what she wanted, Grandpa Gohan suggested Goku to go with her since she is a woman and that Goku can help her on her journey. As they managed to go and collect all 6 Dragon Balls but they ran into the Pilaf gang who were also searching for the Dragon Balls and they managed to snatch all the Dragon Balls away. Goku while in the dungeon was able to break free while he saw the peel off one and he summoned Shenron because his wish was to have world domination. But before he can do that, Goku went and he used his big brain as he came right in front of Shenron and he wished for anyone that only has a pure heart is able to summon Shenron. And with that, Shenron has now granted that wish which disqualifies anyone who is not a pure hearted person to summon him. And because of that, Goku was able to save the world by just that one wish thanks for him being very smart. Boma was happy that she was able to save the day with Goku and that she also met with Yamcha. So they all decided to go right back to their place while Goku went right back to his home and he continued to live his life until it was time for him to enter the World Martial Arts Tournament where he met with Krillin there and he managed to beat everyone until he fought with Jackie Chung who he managed to almost beat. But Goku did end up losing that battle and after losing he was more than motivated to do anything he can to train harder so that he can win the next tournament when it happens. But from there he got informed by Master Roshi that the Red Ribbon Army are trying to overtake the world and they're also trying to collect their Dragon Balls. 
Goku wasn't worried about it since he did make a wish that no evil person can summon Shenron, but at the same time he did go to the headquarter base and he managed to disband the Red Ribbon Army by beating everyone down there, as he didn't like their way of how they are treating other people and he decided to go and disband the army. Master Roshi and everyone else was very impressed with Goku's skill and his IQ, so Roshi suggested Goku to go and train with the same master that he has trained with and that is Korin. Once when Goku got there, he managed to go and complete the training task with Korin in just one day, as Korin was very impressed and told Goku that he should go and visit the guardian of planet Earth, who was named Kami. After getting his training done with Korin, Goku decided to go and take that offer as he went and made his way towards the lookout by using the power pole which Grandpa Gohan gave him, and once when he got to the lookout, Kami and Mr. Popo were standing there, as they were shocked to see that Goku was able to come to their place. Since Goku is a genius inside his what if, he was very mannered person, as he went and spoke with Kami and Mr. Popo with such great manners, which got them to be really impressed with Goku and then after talking with Goku, Kami noticed that Goku is a genius and that he's very smart, because he was able to understand each lesson and learn them very quickly. So he decided to go and train Goku and now their training has begun. While that was happening, Kami then sensed that his evil counterpart named Piccolo has been released as everyone was in danger since he was looking for the Dragon Balls, but little did he knew that Goku made the wish that no one who is a pure hearted man can summon the dragon. Goku then decided to go and make his way towards King Piccolo to confront him, since Kami did told him and Kami also warned him that if he dies, Kami would die in the process. Knowing that, Goku went and he confronted King Piccolo, and once when he landed on King Piccolo's spaceship, King Piccolo was looking for martial arts fighters and for the Dragon Balls until he saw Goku as a fighter to his spaceship, which got him really angry, while the Pilaf gang were scared of Goku since they remembered what Goku did. With that, Goku then looked towards him and said, so you're King Piccolo, huh? You're the one who's trying to hurt the innocent life? Huh? How dare you come to my spaceship? I'll end you here! Ha! <laughs> Funny, you took the words right off of my mouth! As Piccolo went and he rushed right towards Goku. But Goku went and striked him right in his guts, getting Piccolo to not be able to breathe and he also was surprised to see how strong Goku was. Seeing that Goku is very strong got King Piccolo to be very desperate, as he quickly went and tried to summon the dragon but saw nothing came out. Goku began to laugh and say, I made sure that no one evil is able to summon the Dragon Ball. You're finished! As Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards his stomach. Once when it hit Piccolo, it pierced right through him as he was dying but he spat out an egg. Goku noticed that the egg had been spat out from his mouth as he decided to follow the egg and he saw that it was a baby Piccolo. Goku then decided to go and take that egg towards Kami's lookout since he realized that that might be the same Piccolo who's connected to Kami, so he decided to let Kami handle the situation. Once when he did, Kami then saw the egg and saw that Piccolo was there and he decided to do everything he can to make sure Piccolo turns out to be a pure hearted man so he could also join the Z fighters. Goku on the other hand was told about the hyperbolic time chamber as he decided to go and spend 2 days inside the hyperbolic time chamber, which is equal to 2 years. Kami noticed that Goku wasn't a very sharp and smart warrior and that he is able to do everything he is told and that if he continues this, he's also able to go new heights, but he realized that Goku might be the one to be able to go and visit King Kai, as he told Goku about King Kai. At first, Goku had no idea who King Kai is, but when Kami told him, he decided to take Goku towards Otherworld. Once when they got to Otherworld, he then got King Yama's permission to let Goku visit King Kai, as King Yama said okay, and from there, Goku's task was to go and follow the end of Snake Way, and that's where he'll meet King Kai, and because he is smart, Goku did exactly that as he managed to make his way towards Snake Way and he arrived to King Kai's world. Once when he got there, he then saw some fat guy standing right in front of him, as Goku had no idea if that could be King Kai because he was kind of silly but when King Kai told him he's King Kai, Goku showed him the utmost respect and asked if he can train him and that Kami has sent him here. Upon hearing that Kami was the one who sent Goku here, it got King Kai to agree to train with Goku, as he decided to go and train Goku and now Goku has spent over 1.5 years on that planet, learning everything he can from King Kai as he managed to learn the Kaioken technique, the spirit bomb and he continued training inside the gravity that was on King Kai's planet but it was a very easy task for Goku to accomplish. Now that a year and a half has passed, it was time for Goku to go right back as he said his goodbye to King Kai and he made his way right to Earth, back to planet Earth. 
Once when Goku got to planet Earth, he then saw that Kami was busy meditating. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Make Piccolo his sparring partner. As he suggested Piccolo to come with him inside the hyperbolic time chamber and train. As both Goku and Piccolo went and they trained for almost two days which equals to two years. Once when the training was done, Goku came out as he got much older and from there he remembered that King Kai's planet gave him a huge boost because of the gravity so he decided to go to Bulma's place and ask her father, Dr. Brief, if he can create him a gravity machine. Dr. Brief agreed to do so as he made Goku that machine while Bulma was impressed with Goku's power and since he was a lot older, she started to have some feelings for Goku while Goku had the same feelings for her and he continued training, getting himself a lot stronger. And as you know, 5 years has passed. While that was happening, a space pod was making its way towards planet Earth. Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born A Genius? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Years has passed since Goku returned back from King Kai's place and within those 5 years, Goku has spent 3 days inside the hyperbolic time chamber with Piccolo and himself as his age has grown a lot and his relationship with Bulma has also kicked up during his training at her home as he asked Dr. Brief to make a graviton machine and Goku managed to go and train inside 200 normal times gravity. But when it comes to him and Bulma, Goku has asked Bulma if she would marry him as she has agreed to do so and now they have settled down since they both had a liking for one another and also because Goku did pretty much you can say grew 4 years within that 5 years which gives him a 9 years gap. Goku is now a full-fledged adult as his and Bulma's life was going amazing. Two geniuses marrying one another is something no one has ever expected as Goku was able to create a device that can tell him about the locations of all the Dragon Balls, not just on planet Earth but the Dragon Balls that are inside this universe as he has learned that there are three sets of Dragon Ball inside this universe but the strongest one is on planet Namek. Bulma then had an idea to make a time machine so that they're able to travel back to the time and save things like Goku's race being erased and all that since he does remember about his world being destroyed. But one thing that came out of their marriage was Bulma has gotten pregnant and she delivered a baby boy and they decided to name him Gohan only because Grandpa Gohan has died due to old age and Goku wanted to show respect by naming his son after him. Everything was going very well for all of them until one day. A space pod was making its way towards planet Earth as it has now landed and it was searching for a warrior named Kakarot. While that was happening, back on Goku's place, Goku and Boma has invited everyone for their party so that they can see each other since it has been a while. Although Goku is a genius, he still is a Saiyan and because of that, his choice of training will always come first over anything as he has just arrived to the party along with Piccolo and from there they're all enjoying themselves until Goku was able to pick up a power level coming close to them and said, Hmm? I think I can sense that too, Goku. It's coming fast, but it's not a threat for us. We can easily handle him. And as they know it, Raditz has arrived. As he looked right towards him and said, So I finally found you, Kakarot. Kakarot? And I noticed you have a tail like I did. Like you did? What do you mean? Well, my tail got caught up due to an accident and it never grew back. But you have the same thing, that means you and I are from the same race, right? Not only do we share the same race, but you're also my brother. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Radis. I am your brother, Kakarot. And that you're also a Saiyan warrior. Whoa, my brother? I never thought I would have a brother. But tell me one thing, Kakarot. Why haven't you killed a human being? You're a Saiyan race, you should take pride in it. So that's what I am, a Saiyan, huh? Neat. Also, I got around to fix my spaceship as I learned most of the stuff from there and how I was supposed to wipe out everyone. But let me clear one thing to you, Radis. My name has changed now. It's Goku. 
And second, I love these human. This is my home and I'm glad to see that my Saiyan race still lives on. And since you're my brother, why don't you join me and stay here? You're a complete disgrace, Kakura, to the Saiyan race! I should kill you where you stand! Huh, if you think you can, then go ahead. As Goku went and he powered up his key. With that, Radar Scouter broke as he couldn't believe just how strong Goku was. And from there, he looked at Goku and said, There's no point fighting with you! Your power's over 9000! But tell me, Kakarot, how did you become this strong? I have done a lot of training, and if you want, I can train you too. This is my last offer to you, brother. Put all this hatred of yours aside and come join us. I'll help you to be as strong as I am. Raditz seen that he had no choice since he did saw that Goku is very powerful, he decided to go and accept Goku's offer. And from there, Goku went and introduced everyone to Raditz as his older brother, as they all couldn't believe that Goku had an older brother. While that was happening, back in the remote planet, Vegeta and Nappa, the two remaining Saiyans, heard that Raditz has joined forces with Goku, as he didn't like that and from there Vegeta looked towards Nappa and said, Hmm, such a disgrace this guy is. Well, what do you expect to do, Vegeta? Do you want to save him? <laughs> Hell no! He wants to betray us by joining forces with Kakarot? Let him! That pathetic has no idea who we are. We shall go to Earth and kill him, Nappa. That will be our plan, and from there, we're gonna destroy that home planet. Let Kakarot see that his entire planet has been destroyed right in front of him. While that was happening, back on Earth, Goku has interrogated Raditz, as Raditz told him everything about Vegeta and Nappa, and that how they're the two remaining Saiyans, and that the reason why he came in the first place was to get Goku, so that they can go and join forces with Vegeta and Nappa, and beat Frieza, since Frieza is the evil tyrant that's trying to rule all the Saiyans, and he's also the one who destroyed planet Vegeta. Goku then went and he took out a gadget, which he made. This gadget is like a magnetic, as he turned it on and from there all 7 Dragon Balls has automatically came towards this magnetic, as it is a magnetic for collecting the Dragon Ball. With that, Goku decided to go and summon Shenron, as Raditz couldn't believe what he was seeing and when Shenron came out, Goku then asked Shenron to take him with their spaceship to where Vegeta and Nappa are, as Shenron was about to do it and therefore Goku looked towards Bulma and said goodbye to everyone as he has left to that remote planet with Raditz and Piccolo along with the spaceship where Vegeta and Nappa were since they were getting ready to go towards planet Earth. But once when they were going towards a space pod, they didn't saw that Goku and everyone has now arrived as Vegeta turned right towards his left and saw that Raditz and Goku along with Piccolo has now arrived towards that planet. What the? Raditz? How the hell did you come here so fast? So you're Vegeta take it, huh? Raditz told me everything about how this planet of ours called Planet Vegeta got destroyed by Frieza. So you're here to show us pity? Who the hell do you think you are, Kakarot? I was actually going to come towards your Earth to end your life myself. I'm here to tell you that I can end Frieza for you and in return, you two can come and join us on planet Earth. <laughs> Never! I'll crush you and your puny planet! <laughs> You're so stubborn, but okay then, show me what you got. With that, Nappa did not like Goku's attitude, as he got really angry and said, Vegeta! Let me kill him! Nappa went and he rushed right towards Goku as he was about to hit him, but from there, he got kicked in the face by no one other than Piccolo, as it got Nappa sent flying. Raditz was shocked to see just how strong Piccolo is as he was able to kick someone as strong as Nappa, but Piccolo wasn't done. He rushed right towards Nappa and he started to beat the shit out of him. While Vegeta went and he charged right towards Goku and he began to hit him, but Goku was dodging each and every one's attack as everyone could see the difference between Vegeta and Goku. Goku then smiled and said, Tch, So you're the prince of all Saiyan, huh? You can clearly see you're far weaker than me. There's no need to fight. Let's join forces and we'll end Frieza together. How dare you crush my pride like that, Kakarot! I am the prince of all Saiyan! You're beneath me! Maybe in rank, but in power, you're far beneath me. Vegeta got very angry towards Goku, as he couldn't take any more disrespect and from there he went and he powered up a large Gallic gun, strong enough to destroy the entire planet. Raditz got scared seeing that along with Nappa as they tried to retreat and leave, but from there, Vegeta aimed a blast right towards Goku. Goku came right from the blast and caught it with one hand and he dispersed it. Upon Sina got Vegeta very scared, as he couldn't believe that Goku was able to do that with his blast and said, What the hell are you? Well, I see you don't have a tail, Kakarot. It is time I use that towards my advantage. Please do so, but you do know. It's futile. 
Vegeta went and he shined the blood sweep as he began to go and transform. I've seen this form, Kakarot. It is time I destroy you here once and for all. Now die! Goku saw that Nappa has transformed along with Vegeta. As he looked towards Raditz and saw that he also has transformed to his great ape, but Raditz did not interfere. He was watching the battle, leaving everything to Goku as Goku instructed him to do so. Goku then looked towards Piccolo and said, Piccolo! You know what to do, right? Yeah, I do. It's their tail! Destroy it! As Piccolo went and he came right next to Nappa, Nappa tried to hit Piccolo but he managed to dodge his hit and from there he powered up a special beam cannon and aimed it right towards Nappa's tail, getting it to be blown off and Nappa has reverted right back to his base. Vegeta on the other hand saw that as he went and he charged right towards Goku but Goku smiled and said, if we're gonna go all out Vegeta let me show you a little glimpse of my power. I don't care what you show me Kakarot, it's going to be weak. I'm the prince of all Saiyan, and I'm going to kill you. Okay then, let me show you my Kaioken. After training with King Kai and learning the arts of Kaioken, Goku was now able to use the Kaioken. Find out what. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has just used his Kaioken. As Vegeta was confused on what kind of power and form he has taken upon himself, but with that he went and rushed right towards Goku. As he tried to hit him but Goku easily dodged his head and from there he went and kicked Vegeta right in the face, getting Vegeta to fall to the ground. Once when Vegeta got up, he then looked towards him and said, No! How can this be? There's no way a clown can do this to me! I'm the Prince of All Saiyan! Well then, you'll be disappointed when I beat you. Uh, how dare you talk to me like that! I'll crush you! Ah! Die, Kakarot! Die! Vegeta was filled with rage as he wasn't able to think things through and with that he went and rushed right towards Goku, begun to hit him with everything he's got. Goku saw that he was in rage mode as he was not able to control himself while Vegeta continued to go and unleash a lot of breath attack just so he can hit Goku. But Goku was far faster than him as Goku managed to go and dodge all of his breath attack and hit and with that, Goku went and kicked him right in his face, getting Vegeta to fall right towards the ground. Vegeta then got up as Goku rushed right towards him and he striked him in his stomach, getting Vegeta to gasp for air and with that Goku went and punched him high in the air as he rushed right towards Vegeta and he began to attack him in his stomach non-stop. As Goku was completely in charge during this battle and you can say he was making sports out of grade 8 Vegeta. Goku then went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Vegeta's tail, getting to be blown off. With that, Vegeta has now reverted right back to his base. Goku then came right next to Vegeta and striked him in his stomach as Vegeta fell to the ground and he passed out. After a while, Vegeta woke up as he saw that Goku, Piccolo and Raditz were all looking at him as Goku looked towards him and said, Do you still want to join us and live or do you want to die here with your pride? Kakara, how are you this strong? It amazes me to see that you're this strong. And I guess I have no choice, I will join you. I don't want to die. But in return, Kakarot, I'm gonna need you to take up Frieza. <laughs> well, that was my plan from the start. Leave it to me. With that, Goku went and he gave Vegeta a Senso Bean. As Vegeta ate it and he recovered all from his wounds. At the same time, Goku went and he gave Nappa a Senso Bean, getting both of them to be recovered. With that, Goku then got all of them to enter his spaceship as he now set a course to go towards Planet Namek and now they began going to where Frieza was. 
While Vegeta inside his scouter during their battle picked up that Frieza was not in his planet, he actually went to a planet called Planet Namek and that he is looking for the Dragon Balls. Once when Goku heard that, he knew automatically what Frieza was trying to do with the Dragon Balls so he quickly went and begun making his way towards Namek so he can stop Frieza from fulfilling his wish. Since Goku handmade this spaceship himself, he was able to make this one of the most fastest spaceship to ever exist with the help of Boma and Dr. Brief, as it managed to get to Planet Namek in just one and a half day. Upon their arrival, once when they arrived towards the ground of Planet Namek, Goku came out of the spaceship as he can sense just how powerful Frieza was, but at the same time he wasn't worried at all. With that, Goku then decided to go and take out his gadget that he has made, while Vegeta looked towards him and said, So are you think you're stronger than Frieza now, Kakarot? You think you could beat him? <laughs> Well, judging by his power, I don't think he's all that, but there's only one way to find out. I'll have to fight him to see where he stands against me. But first thing is first, I must go and gather all the Dragon Balls. As Goku went and he used his Dragon Ball magnetic gadget. And with that, once when he started, the entire Namek began to shake as all 7 star Dragon Balls has arrived right next to Goku. While that was happening, Frieza was shocked to see that all the Dragon Balls that he has collected was moving to one place so he quickly followed and it led him to where Goku and everyone else were. And to his surprise, he saw Vegeta was there, along with the rest and said, Hmm, how did I not see this coming? Vegeta, are you trying to rebuttal against me, huh? Frieza! Your time of ruling us and this universe coming to an end now! <laughs> And I suppose you'll stop me, isn't that right, monkey? No, you're a fool, Frieza. I have someone stronger than me. Me, Kakarot. He is the one who is actual, the Super Saiyan, and he's gonna end you. What? Kakarot? That is another monkey name, huh? Well then, it doesn't matter. How many of you guys are gonna come and fight me? I'll end you guys once and for all. But as for you, Mr. Kakarot, give me back the Dragon Balls you took. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to let something as evil as you have them. I have come here to stop you, Frieza. After all, you destroyed my home world, and for that, you're going to pay. Ha! Really? And what does a monkey think he can do? I'll end your life. As Frieza went and he tried to hit Goku, but Goku dodges it, and with that, he followed with a kick, getting Frieza to be sent flying towards the water. Frieza then got up and saw that Goku smiled at him, which got Frieza to be really upset, seeing that Goku is smirking, and from there, he said, you might have gotten me on that one hit, but now it is time I end your life. Now let me show you guys that no one has ever seen before. Behold! Frieza has now transformed into his final form. Well, monkey, are you ready to die now? <laughs> Bet! Let's see what he can do, Frieza. As Goku went and he powered up to his Kaioken. Well then, Frieza, I'd like to see what he can do with that power. You're very confident, monkey. You think you can beat me? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. As both Goku and Frieza went and they rushed right towards each other and their power clashed with one another as they were going at it. With each landing blow, the entire planet was shaking, while Frieza was surprised to see that Goku was able to keep up, but Vegeta was the one to be the most surprised here, as he couldn't believe just how powerful Goku and Frieza were, as both of them were going at it with everything they got. Frieza went and he strike Goku while Goku went and kicked him and they both fell to the ground. Once when they got up, Frieza was amazed to see that and said, You're very stubborn, huh? It is time I go all out. Please do so, Frieza. It's starting to bore me to see what kind of power you got. <laughs> My pleasure, monkey. Just remember you asked for it. Frieza has now used his final form power to his 100% as he was sure that this power would be enough to kill Goku and from there he looked towards him and said, It is time you die. <laughs> I'm not an idiot Frieza, 
I know very well what kind of creature you are. You think that just because you're stronger than me and if I prove to be stronger, you have a trump card which is to destroy this planet because we Saiyans cannot breathe in space. Well, let me tell you one thing, Frieza. I will not allow that. I am going to use my full power too. Goku has now gone and he transformed into his Super Saiyan. Vegeta and everyone else were very shocked as Nappa, Raditz and Vegeta couldn't believe that Goku has done what was once said to be a legend, that is to transform into a Super Saiyan. With that, Goku looked towards Frieza and said, Are you ready now to meet your end, Frieza? You think that because you're here? Before Frieza can finish his sentence, Goku rushed at him as he went and striked Frieza in the face, getting Frieza to be sent flying towards the ground. Frieza then got up as he saw that Goku went and he charged his fist as he came right next to Frieza and he began attacking him non-stop. Goku didn't give Frieza any space, seeing that he is far stronger than him and Frieza realizing that he isn't close to Goku's power, he was planning to resort to his trump card which was to destroy the planet, but Goku knew very well since he is a genius, he could sense right away that Frieza was going to do that as he continued to overpower him and with that Goku went and he striked Frieza in the guts getting to gas for air as he went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Frieza. Frieza tried to dodge it but Goku meant business as he able to go and hit Frieza with his wave and he died right there. Goku at his super saiyan power was more than enough to put an end towards Frieza as he managed to go and kill him and with that he gave the Namekian the rest of the Dragon Balls which Frieza was trying to use. With that, Guru, the Namekian who is the guardian of planet Namek wanted to thank Goku as he called Goku to come see him and when Goku came, he first thanked Goku for his bravery and he went and unleashed Goku's potential as he unleashed Piccolo's potential and he also told Nail to fuse with Piccolo which will help them down their journey. Goku thanked Guru for that and from there they all set a course to go right back to planet Earth. Once when they came to planet Earth, Vegeta set his mind to stay in planet Earth with Nappa and Raditz and do everything he can to train so he can also become a Super Saiyan and be by Goku's side and spar with him so he can overpower him one day. Goku went and met with Boma as he was happy to see his wife yet again and from there, a few months has passed as all the Z Fires has arrived right back to their world and they begun relaxing and now it was time for them to go and train. While they were training, they all sensed that someone has entered planet Earth as it was no one other than King Cold. Goku and everyone else went and they made the way to confront King Cold and once when they got there they saw that King Cold was there as he came out of a spaceship and he was surprised to see that the Z Fires were already there and he said, Oh my, this what are all you guys doing here? What the? Why do you look like Frieza? I see you know who my son is, that means you're the one who killed him? Yes, my name is Goku and I'm the one who put an end towards your son. That's all I need to hear. As King Cold went and he powered up an enormous blast which was strong enough to destroy planet Earth and he aimed it right towards the planet. Goku came running from the blast as he caught it and he dispersed it. Upon seeing that got King Cold to be very shocked as he couldn't believe that Goku was able to do that but without wasting any time, Piccolo went and he powered up his power as he went full power and he rushed right towards King Cold and he started to hit him. Goku went and he powered up a full blast Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards King Cold while Piccolo powered up his special beam cannon and both of their attack went and killed King Cold. With that, just when they thought that all the battle was done, Goku is about to go right back to where everyone else were but from there someone has appeared right next to Goku as he looked towards him and said, It's good to see you alive again father. Huh? Who are you? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Huh? Who are you? And how do you know me? Hey father, it's amazing to see you alive again. What? Father? And alive? What are you talking about? It's me, Gohan, your son, but from the future. 
Upon hearing that, Goku to be very amazed and said, Oh wow! It looks like my time machine actually worked! Awesome! And wow, look at you, Gohan! You changed a lot! But wait, you said it's good to see me alive again. What did you mean by that, Gohan? In the future, Father, you have died by this nasty virus which attacked your heart and it killed you. I have come here to give you this medicine which Mother made for you. She said there wasn't none during that time, but now there is, and I'm able to give it to you, Father. So this is the antidote towards my heart, huh? Well, thanks, Gohan. I'm pretty sure this will definitely come in handy. Also, Father, there's one thing you need to know. What is it, son? There's these deadly androids. Once when you died, they have been released in the world. Dr. Jero is the one who created them, and as we speak inside this timeline, during this time, he is creating them. Really? Dr. Jero? And that's not all, Father. If you don't stop them now, we're all doomed. They went and killed everyone except for me. Wow, I'm sorry you had to survive that all alone, Gohan. But now that you gave me this antidote, I'm gonna make sure I don't let this future of you go to the same thing what you went through, Gohan. Thank you, Father. I know you'll make a change. As Gohan went and he hugged Goku and said his goodbye to his father and with that, he has left right back to his time. Goku then went and told the Z-Fires about what happened about the future warrior and he told him that some killer Andrews will come and kill all of them because his evil scientist named Dr. Jero was the one to do this. With that, Goku didn't mean an idea to go and use a Dragon Ball as he went and he summoned Shenron and upon Shenron coming, Goku asked him to give him the location to Dr. Jero's lab. Shenron then told him where Dr. Jero is as they went and made the way towards Dr. Jero and it was Goku and Piccolo. Once when they got to Dr. Jero's lab, Goku knew that the danger this man possessed will be very severe and if he's not stopped now, he could be a huge threat towards the universe. As Goku went and he powered up a blast and blew Dr. Jero's door off. Once when he did, he then saw that Dr. Jero was busy modifying Android 17 as he looked right towards Goku and Piccolo but from there Piccolo went and shined a blast towards Jero as it went and hit him head on and he died right there. Goku then went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan as he powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right towards Dr. Jero's lab. Once when a wave hit the lab, the entire lab got destroyed along with the androids that were being modified and because of that Goku was able to prevent any androids to come out inside this timeline along with Cell as he managed to save his timeline. Because in the canon, Goku did not care about Dr. Jero's location. He wanted to fight the androids himself and be prepared, but inside here, since Goku is a genius, he knows what comes first. Although he's a Saiyan, being smart is what actually helps you win the battle, as he managed to go and take the easy route out by getting the Dragon Balls to give him the location of Dr. Jero, and he managed to go and put an end towards him. With that, Goku has returned right back to his house as everyone was there and he told them that the good news that they managed to go and put an end towards Jero and now they all went to celebrate and they spent over 9 years relaxing with their loved ones and even doing a lot of training. Within that 9 years gap, Goku has gotten a lot stronger. Since he did not face any androids, he continued to go and train non-stop inside the hyperbolic time chamber and even with Vegeta, Raditz, Nappa and Piccolo at the lookout as they use all each other as a sparring partner. And when it comes to Gohan, Gohan has now grown into a full-fledged adult but he was more into studying. Although in the canon, Gohan was into studying but because his father is a genius, it made Gohan to be more smart inside this universe and because of that, Gohan was more into studying and he met with a girl named Videl. When it comes to Goku and Boma, both of them managed to go and settle down and relax and have another child as that child came to the world and they named him Goten. Vegeta on the other hand went and he settled down with an earth woman goes by the name Chi Chi. Since Saiyans are attracted to very strong women, they decide to go and marry one another. And once when they got married, Vegeta had a kid with her and they named him Trunks. When it comes to Raditz, Raditz also settled down with another strong woman and her name was Launch. As the Z Fires continued to go and live their life to the fullest but they made sure they train every day. Vegeta had one goal and that one goal was to do everything he can to surpass Goku. So he spent his time sparring and training with Goku just for the purpose of him being able to surpass him. As 9 years has passed and during those time Goku and Boma has now managed to complete making the time machine as it was ready for use and they are ready to go and make their way to see 
if it actually works by traveling to future Gohan's timeline and then even traveling to save the Saiyans from Frieza's wrath. But before that can happen, Vegeta then came towards Goku as he was ready to have the sparring match with Goku and said, I demand you to fight me now Kakarot, I spent 9 years training just for this day. <laughs> Alright Vegeta, I see you mean business then let's do it. As both Goku and Vegeta went and they powered up the key but without wasting any time, Vegeta went and he screamed. <laughs> Vegeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan 2, which he was able to achieve within that 9 years. Well Kakura, are you ready to fight me now? <laughs> Jumping to Super Saiyan 2 I see, huh? Alright Vegeta, let me be the same. Goku has also gone and he transformed into his Super Saiyan 2. As both Goku and Vegeta's battle has begun, Vegeta went and he charged right towards Goku as he tried to strike him but Goku managed to go and dodge his head and with that he punched Vegeta but Vegeta tried to block it and from there both of the power clashed with one another and they were going at it. With each landing blow without noticing, Bobbidi was collecting their energy and they were gathering up a lot of energy to resurrect Majin Buu and they managed to go and unleash Majin Buu but Goku and Vegeta were too busy hitting one another after all it is the power between two Super Saiyans 2 going at it. Vegeta then went and he rushed towards Goku to hit him but Goku went and kicked him in the stomach and punched him down as Vegeta fell to the ground and with that with Goku looked down towards him and said, you have got a lot stronger Vegeta, I'm impressed, but at the same time so have I. <laughs> Easy for you to say, you're the one who's always one step ahead of me. What the heck man, what kind of power do you got Kakarot? Whoa, can you feel that Vegeta? Uh, what the, what the hell is that? It is Majin Buu, he has been released from his seal and now he's gonna end all life forces. Huh? Who are you? As the Supreme Kai has arrived to planet earth and he went and introduced himself to everyone and told them that they need to stop Majin Buu at any cost. Goku was able to now sense the danger Majin Buu possesses and with that, he decided to go and make his way towards where Majin Buu was and while doing so, Babidi went and he made a worldwide broadcast as he told everyone that he's going to come for them and kill all life forces that are on this planet. With that, Goku would not let that happen as he quickly used his power to get there and now he has arrived to where Babidi and Majin Buu was. Once when he saw them, Majin Buu then saw Goku as he was about to confront them but Vegeta without wasting any time went and he used his Super Saiyan 2 power. I'm gonna go and crush this blob myself! As Vegeta went and he charged right towards Majin Buu and he began punching him non-stop. Majin Buu wasn't phased by Vegeta's head as Vegeta kept hitting it with everything he's got and but with that Majin Buu went and he headbutt Vegeta, getting Vegeta to be sent flying and from there he followed and he kicked him in his guts. Goku saw just how strong Majin Buu was and that the power of a Super Saiyan 2 doesn't even phase him, he decided to go and use his full power as Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> After training for 9 years straight, doing everything he can to surpass his limit and even break it, Goku was able to reach new heights as he is now gone and transformed into a Super Saiyan 3. I'm sorry that took much longer than the others, I didn't have much time practicing this one. You can call this Super Saiyan 3. What? K Kakarot! Ow! What the? All you did was just make your hair long! Me boo! Kill you! I'm ready. Come at me with everything you got then. As Majibu went and he rushed right towards Goku and he tried to hit him 
as he powered up his fist and he striked Goku across his face but saw Goku wasn't phased by it. Goku then looked towards Majin Buu and said, Is that all you got? Here I thought that you would have a lot more fight left in you. Majin Buu got very angry as he went and started to hit Goku but now Goku went and turned the tables on him as he rushed right towards Majin Buu and from there he went and kicked him right in the face getting Buu to be sent flying towards the ground. Buu then got right back up as he charged right towards Goku and began to hit him but Goku was dodging all of his attack like if there were nothing and from there Goku went and he punched Buu right in his face. Seeing that Buu was able to regenerate himself each time, Goku saw that the only way to kill him was by using full force. As Goku went and he rushed right towards Majin Buu and he began to beat the shit out of him, punching him non-stop. With that Goku then went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Buu as the wave hit Majin Buu head on and he died right there. Goku after using his Super Saiyan 3 power has proof to be one of the strongest warriors you can never mess with as he managed to go and kill Majin Buu once and for all while Vegeta couldn't believe what Goku has done and had no idea but all he wanted to do was show his respect to Goku as he came and shook Goku's hand and he admitted to him that Goku is the best and that he's better than him. With that they have all run right back to Goku's house as they all began to celebrate about their victory and while they're busy having a good time, far in the galaxy, at a destroyer's world, Beerus the destroyer has now woken from his slumber as he went and he called upon his attendant Whis and said, Whis? Yes my lord, I see you have been awake. Uh, tell me Whis, is there any sight of the super saiyan god? No, not yet my lord. But there is something you might want to know. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Whis, you're telling me that there's no Super Saiyan God yet. No my lord, apparently there is no such thing as a super saiyan god, but there is a group of saiyans that are living on this planet called planet earth. Well, I doubt they know anything about it. What? Did you just say a group of saiyans on earth? But how is that possible Whis? I thought I told that bastard Frieza to kill them all. Well apparently these are the ones who survived the blast from Frieza. Is that so? Well then Whis, I would like to go meet these saiyans, let's go to planet earth. As Whis and Beerus has now begun their journey, making their way towards planet Earth. It has been a week since Goku came back, as he left with everyone to Supreme Kai's world and from there Goku began training with Supreme Kai as he managed to go and break the Z sword and next thing you know the old Kai came out. Inside here when the old Kai told Goku about the ability he has to unleash people's power as he was able to unlock Goku's potential, Goku agreed to do so and therefore he got his potential unlocked by the old Kai, giving him a huge boost to his power level. Goku with his new unlocked potential saw that he had a huge growth to his power as he has now come back to planet earth, spending some time with his loved ones and from there him and Bulma has now finalized making the time machine as it was ready for a test and from there Vegeta wanted to go and try it out with them as their first test was to go and save future Gohan's timeline. They set a course to go right back to future Gohan's timeline to a time where the androids has just been released. Once when they have arrived to the timeline, Goku was surprised to see how everything looks just alike and at the same time, he was shocked to see that the androids has now been released inside this timeline. When it comes to King Kai, unfortunately for Goku since he has left his timeline, King Kai wasn't able to inform Goku about Beerus making his way towards planet earth and that if Goku takes Beerus off or not just Goku anyone, he will end up destroying the entire planet. With not knowing that Beerus is on his way, Goku then went and he saw the androids went and they begun to attack the Z fighters but from there Goku went and he used his super saiyan 2 power as he managed to go and kill android 17 and 18 and with that Goku managed to go and save the timeline and from there they have all left to come right back to the present timeline. Vegeta was really impressed to see how they were able to change timeline by doing this and therefore he had an idea 
to go back to a time where Planet Vegeta was still there and that Frieza was about to destroy the planet so he can kill Frieza. Goku liked that idea. As he looked around and said, yeah, we'll do that, but just not right now. You know, changing timeline over and over again can be really messed up for this timeline. So that's what you two been up to, huh? Messing with the time is a serious offense. Huh? Who are you? And what are you talking about, serious offense? You don't know who I am, how sad. I am Lord Beerus, the destroyer god of this universe. Vegeta then remembered who Beerus is as he had a flashback of Beerus making his father bend the knees and from there he got very scared and said, Beerus, what are you doing here? Why are you guys so scared? BTW, we just lined up a nice buffet of food. Goku, will your friend join us? What? Buffet, you say, huh? Well, Lord Beerus, why don't you come and try our Earth food? I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it, it is really good. Well then, I'll take you upon that offer. As King Kai has able to talk to Goku and he told Goku about Beerus. Goku knew already that since he is a god, he has to make sure everyone on planet Earth is at their best behavior and because Goku is born a genius inside his timeline, he wouldn't do anything stupid like ask Beerus to fight him. With that, Beerus went and he first ate some nice Earth food, which got him to fall in love with Earth's food. And from there, he went right back to business as he looked towards Goku and said, So tell me guys, do you guys know anything about a Super Saiyan God? I never heard of that Lord Beerus. I apologize for it, but I can try to get you the Super Saiyan God if you want. Really? How so? Well, I can ask Shenron. As Goku went and he used the Dragon Balls and he managed to summon Shenron. Once when Shenron came out, Goku then asked him about the Super Saiyan God. After learning how to do the Super Saiyan God ritual, Goku was ready to begin the ritual as he did it and from there, Goku has now transformed into a Super Saiyan God. <laughs> Wow, so this is the power of being a god. Well, are you ready to fight me, Saiyan? As Goku and Beerus battle has now begun. Goku went and he rushed right towards Beerus. As he tried to strike him, but Beerus managed to go and dodge Goku's hit and he countered it with his own punch. But Goku saw it coming as he was able to read Beerus' move before he can even make it and with that, Goku was able to strike him back. Since Goku did get his potential unlocked by the old Kai, he was able to read Beerus' move and even measure up to him in strength since they did train a lot and also got his potential unlocked by both Guru and Old Kai. Goku then went for the kick as Beerus and him continued to go back and forth. Beerus was impressed that Goku was able to hold his own and said, Not bad Saiyan. Here I thought that you'll be an easy win, but I should show you my full power. After all, no one ever challenged me to go this far in power. Really? So I'm honored to see the god's true power? You can say that. <laughs> okay then, I'll love to see your full power. Beerus has now powered up to 100% as his power was overwhelming Goku since he is the only one that can sense God Ki and before Goku can react, he got punched in the face by Beerus as Beerus went and kicked him away. Goku then got up and saw that Beerus was already there as he tried to deck Goku in the forehead. Goku saw that coming as he tried to do everything he can to overpower Beerus but Beerus when he went and used 100% of his power. He got a lot stronger, making him have the upper hand over Goku and from there, he started to beat the shit out of Goku. As he looked towards him and said, You're weak Saiyan, you're only one inch away from dying, here I thought that using my full power will still give me some type of fight, but I guess I was wrong. How sad. I would destroy your planet Saiyan, but because you did push me this far, I'm thinking of showing mercy. Ha! <laughs> Don't think like that right now Beerus, I'm still not done. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I still got a lot more power. You think just because you managed to overpower me at your full percent doesn't mean that I'm ready to throw in the towel. <laughs> I like your confidence saying that is something I really needed. Well, believe it or not Beerus, I have a way to tie the, my power with you. It is all thanks to me mastering my Kaioken. I'm able to use it without any strain and since I did get my potential unleashed, 
it was a major help. Huh? Kaioken? What are you talking about, Saiyan? <laughs> Let me show you it. Goku was able to now use his Kaioken with his Super Saiyan God power, as he was able to now use it as a stacker. With that, Beerus was about to make a move but Goku came right in front of him and striked him, getting Beerus to be sent flying away. Beerus quickly went up as he rushed right towards Goku and he began hitting Goku until Goku went and he used Kaioken times 20, allowing him to now see Beerus' full power every move and able to counter those moves compared to before as Beerus tried to hit Goku but he quickly dodged it and punched Beerus across his face. Beerus went for a kick but Goku did the same. He dodged it and he kicked him as Goku went and he started to hit Beerus non-stop and from there he went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Beerus. Beerus managed to go and power up a blast as both of the blasts got dispersed. With that, Goku went right back to his base since he used all of his power by breaking his point while Beerus went right back to his base and said, <sighs> You're actually able to counter my full power, Saiyan. Never have I ever imagined someone can do that. And you also put some damage. How impressive. I must give you credit for that. And since you did do this, I'm 100% satisfied now. <laughs> wow. You were able to hold your own against Lord Beerus, even 100%. How would you like if I train you? After all, I am the one who trained Beerus. And if you let me train you, it'll be a good challenge for Lord Beerus. Oh, wow. You trained Beerus? And <laughs> yes. I would love that, count me in! As Vegeta heard that conversation and from there he went and asked Whis if he can also train him, along with Nappa and Raditz, as Piccolo also thought of doing the same since he didn't want to be left in the dust. Whis has agreed to train all of them and told him that he'll come back after a few days to pick them up. With that, they all went right back to Goku's house as they ate a last earth food and from there, Beerus said his goodbye to Goku as he shook his hand and he's looking forward to Goku fighting him again as Beerus has now left right back to his world. And as you know it, a few days has passed and now Whis came to pick up the Z fighters so he can take them to Beerus world and begin their training. While they were all training at Whis's world, Frieza's men came and they tried to go and use the Dragon Balls since they were planning to go and resurrect Frieza, but once when they gathered all 7 Dragon Balls, they couldn't unlock Shenron since Goku made it back when he was a kid that no one who doesn't possess a pure heart can unlock Shenron. And not just that, Goku also got notified that someone tried to use the Dragon Balls. Since he made it that whoever tries to use the Dragon Balls, he'll be notified. Seeing that the plan Phil got the Frieza Force to be 100% disbanded, and now they left planet Earth as they had nothing else to do since their master couldn't come back. While Goku was busy training with Whis. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Few months has passed since Goku began training with Whis and was doing everything he can to up his power. Goku was a very quick learner as he continued to impress Whis and even start learning to use his body and mind as one, which we all know what that means. Since Frieza couldn't get resurrected due to the fact that the Earth's Dragon Balls rejected his men, Frieza's army decided to finally be disbanded since there's no way to bring Frieza's back and no one knows the location of the new Namek since they did make sure that planet Namek cannot be detected by no one. Back on Beerus' world, Beerus and Whis noticed that Goku was learning and advancing at a much quicker manner than any god or even mortal since he is a genius and he's able to figure out how to break his limit without actually breaking his body and how to recover from it as he continued to push past his level. Beerus was doing a bit of training of his own until he noticed someone has arrived to his planet and it was no one other than his brother Champa. Champa wanted to take Beerus Super Dragon Ball but Beerus refused to give him as he saw that Goku was training and with that he was surprised to see a mortal was in Beerus while training along with Vegeta and the rest. Beerus ignored what Champa had to say as he looked right towards him and said, You might be even more salty finding out that he's stronger than you Champa. This mortal is actually stronger than me and he could beat you too. What? 
He's stronger than you, too! <laughs> well, no, not me. But I am far stronger than you, Champa. And he's stronger than you, too. Ha! You wish, brother! There's no way a Myrtle can be stronger than me! <laughs> you wanna give it a test? Actually, he might not be lying. I don't know, but Lord Beerus, I'm ready for that rematch you're talking about earlier today. <laughs> Bring it on, Saiyan. This will be interesting. Hmm. Goku, with my training and even getting his potential unlocked, gave him the ability to continue to get stronger. But the question is, has he finally become stronger than Lord Beerus? Well, we'll just have to find out. With that, Goku went and he screamed. Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan God, as Beerus smiled and said, Okay Saiyan, you wanna fight? Then bring it on. With that, Beerus went and he used his full power. As their second round has begun, both Goku and Beerus went and they charged right towards each other and their power clashed with one another as they were going at it. Beerus went and he uppercut Goku getting to be sent flying high in the air. But Goku managed to stop himself and said, It's time I end this now! Goku has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, formerly known as Super Saiyan Blue, as his power was skyrocketing. After all he did train with Whis and he even got his potential unlocked, Beerus was very impressed on seeing Goku using his Super Saiyan Blue, as Goku looked towards him and said, Sorry Beerus, but there's no way I'm gonna let you win this time. This guy is pretty cocky, I don't like his attitude. I don't mind beating the shit out of myself. As Champa saw that Goku went and he rushed right towards Beerus and he kicked him, getting Beerus to be sent flying. Champa wanted to go and hit Goku himself, and with that he went and rushed at Goku as he managed to go and strike him right in his face. Goku fell to the ground as Goku saw that both Beerus and Champa got up as they stood next to each other and they're ready to attack Goku. Who has your butt in, Champa? Shut up! I want to beat this mortal myself! Do you want to be known as a destroyer who got beat by his own mortal? This will be interesting. Let's see what this mortal can do against two destroyers. Nevertheless, this Goku fellow is something else. You can say that again, sis. After all, Goku is a very quick learner. As of now, he might be the one to win this battle. As both Beerus and Champa smiled while Goku looked towards him and said, Well then, I guess I'm gonna fight between brother versus me, huh? Well then, let's do it. Is that so? Well then I'm also gonna come and help you out Kakarot! As Vegeta went and he used his Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> With that, Beerus and Champa stare right towards Vegeta and Goku. And before they can even start, Champa came right towards Vegeta and striked him right in his guts, getting him to gasp for air and with that he went and punched him hard, as Vegeta fell to the ground and he passed out. While Beerus went and he tried to hit Goku but Goku dodged it as he was about to go and strike Beerus but he got punched in the face by Champa. Goku then got upset seeing that they are teaming up on him, as from there he went and tried to attack Champa and before he could lay a hand towards Champa, the same result happened to him before Beerus came and hit him. As each time he was about to fight them individually, the other one would come and help their partner. And Goku saw that this is futile, if he doesn't go all out, they will win. As he looked right towards him and said, hm, It is time then. Huh? What are you talking about, Saiyan? It is time I show you two who you guys are facing. Ha! Enough of your bluff! You're already using your full power! There's nothing you can do! I thought this was an individual fight, Lord Beerus. But I see you're too much of a coward to fight me alone. How dare you talk to a god like that, Saiyan? 
I'll Hakai you and erase you from existence for such disrespect. Ha, <laughs> for that you'll need to be able to get me. Now come fight me at my all! Goku went and he used his full power, as he has now used his Kaioken times 20 with his Super Saiyan Balloon. Since he did get his potential unlocked, his power was far greater than anything, as Beerus and Champa were both staring at Goku's new power and with that, Champa went and he tried to hit Goku but Goku dodged his head and he kicked him right in his face, getting Champa to be sent flying towards the ground. Beerus was shocked to see just how Goku was able to be this strong and said, there's no way I'm going to- Before he can finish his sentence, Goku rushed at him and strike Beerus right in the guts, getting him to gasp for air. Champa went and he tried to rush at Goku but Goku was too fast for him, as he managed to outrun him and with that, Goku came instantly right in front of him, as he went and decked him right towards his face, getting Champa to be sent flying towards the ground. Beerus went and he rushed right towards Goku, but Goku dodged his hit as he rushed right towards him and he started to beat the shit out of him. Beerus didn't stand a chance against Goku at his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 and with that Goku went and he decked him down, leaving Champa to be the last one, as he was already damaged by Goku and before he can do anything, Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he aimed it at Champa, as the wave went and hit him head on and he passed out. Goku at his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 plus his potential unlocked by the old Kai was able to beat 2 destroyer who was going at him which are Beerus and Champa, as he is now known in the multiverse to be the first mortal to do that. While Goku was recovering from his Kaioken, out of nowhere, everyone saw that someone has arrived as it was no one other than Zeno, the king of everything. Beerus, Whis, Vados and Champa all of them got very scared seeing him as Goku was confused on why they were scared but they were told that Lord Zeno is the king of everything and he has the power to erase everything with just a snap. Upon hearing that got Goku and everyone very scared as they quickly went and bowed down to Zeno. With that Zeno was upset seeing that Beerus and Champa were fighting and that he gave them crap for doing so and from there he returned right back to his world. Since Goku isn't a childlike personality inside this what if and he is a genius, unlike in the canon Goku didn't become friends with Zeno since he was a madder man and he didn't want to do anything that would upset the Omni King so he decided to keep his distance from him. With that Goku and everyone came right back to their world as Goku went and spent some time with his loved one and since Goku is a genius there won't be any Goku Black arc inside this what if because Goku didn't show any disrespect to the gods and therefore there wasn't any tournament for Zamasu to see and even if he did see any tournament Goku would not show him such disrespect which caught him to go and become Goku Black and therefore, the idea of becoming Goku Black wouldn't be even crossing his mind, as inside his what if, there won't be any Goku Black arc. With that, Goku on the other hand decided to do one thing and that is, he asked Beerus if he can get the Super Dragon Balls, as Beerus decided to go and get Champa to give him the Super Dragon Balls and with that, they let Goku use it, since Goku did beat them that is the least they can do for him. Goku then managed to go and summon the Super Dragon Balls and he told Whis his wish. His wish was to restore Planet Vegeta, as he felt that it was time for his Saiyan brethren to be alive again and he also wanted to have a reunion with his family. Upon making that wish, Planet Vegeta has now come back, as Vegeta Nappa Raditz were very shocked to hear that Goku managed to go and bring back Planet Vegeta and since they couldn't wait, they decided to go and visit that planet as they all had a reunion with everyone. Bardock and Gine were very shocked and happy to see that Goku was there as he was the one that brought them back. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku had just brought back to his Saiyan race with the Super Dragon Ball as Vegeta and everyone else was shocked to learn that the planet has come back and that they went to see everyone. K 
King Vegeta was very happy to see his son, as he couldn't believe he was able to come back to life yet again. Goku had a reunion with Bardock and Gine, as they were very emotional seeing Goku while he was with Raditz, and they were both together which got them even more happy. After having a good reunion with Goku, Goku wanted to go right back to Beerus World and continue training some more so he can learn his mind and be one with his body, as he saw Whis had displayed this during his training. With that, Goku has gone right back to Beerus World and he begun training, and while that was happening, back on the Galactic Patrol, a prisoner has managed to go and escape his jail cell as he decided to go and make his way towards a planet called Planet Namek and from there he wanted to go and use their Dragon Balls. Once when he did, he did manage to get all his men come right back to that planet and with that, he got the news that Planet Vegeta has been resurrected and since that planet does have all the Saiyan who is one of the strongest race in this universe and with that, he decided to go to Planet Vegeta and eat the entire planet so he can absorb all the life forces and make himself very strong. Back on Planet Vegeta, King Vegeta has now announced his son Vegeta to be the next king for the planet as Vegeta has accepted his role and now he is the king of all Saiyans. While everyone's happy celebrating for Vegeta, from there they saw that someone has now arrived to their world with a group of people and they look around and said, hmm, well, well. Looks like the rumors are true after all. You're a wretched planet mash to come back, I see. Hey, who the hell are you? And what the hell you think you're doing inside my planet? What do you want? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lord Moro, and I'm here to absorb all of you guys one by one. Ha! <laughs> you wish, buddy, over my dead body! Yeah! Vegeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue as he went and rushed right towards Moro and their battle has begun. Back on Beerus' world, Goku was training with Whis as he was getting the hang of it until Supreme Kai came to Whis' world and he saw that Goku was training there while Goku paused his training and he saw the distressed face on the Kai and said, Hey, what's up Supreme Kai? And what happened? Why are you looking so stressed out? <sighs> Goku, bad news! Your planet, Planet Vegeta with all the Saiyans, are in trouble! This evil lit wizard named Moro, he's on that planet and he's absorbing everyone as we speak! What? Moro? But how can that be? He managed to escape his jail cell, he was locked up in planet prison, and he heard about your planet being resurrected, so now he's at that planet. Gosh! Well then let's get there before something bad happens! As Goku began making his way towards Planet Vegeta. While that was happening, Vegeta was trying to hit Moro with everything he's got, but Moro was dodging most of the attack as he went and he needed Vegeta right in the stomach and with that Vegeta began gasping for air. Bardock and the rest of the strong Saiyans has come to aid Vegeta as they went and they started to attack Moro, but Moro wasn't even phased by them. With that he went and he absorbed all of their soul as all of them has died right there. Upon seeing that got all the other Saiyans very scared of Moro's power, while Vegeta couldn't comprehend what he saw, and with that Moro looked towards him and said, Well Vegeta, are you ready to die now? <laughs> you wish buddy, I still got a trump card! Vegeta was planning to use himself as a sacrifice material by blowing himself up, but before he can do that, Goku has not arrived towards the planet, as Goku saw Moro and said, so you're the evil witches they call Moro, huh? And you're trying to end my people? <laughs> I sure am, and I see your powers are very good. Let me have a boost of that too. Moro went and he tried to absorb Goku, but from there Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken as he was powering up his Kaioken and with that he went and charged right towards Moro and their power clashed with each other. Goku began to attack Moro as he went and kicked him right in his face getting him to be sent flying. Goku followed as he went and he tried to attack Moro but from there he heard that Moro has killed his father 
which got him even more angry and from there he went and he used his Kaioken times 20 the same power he used to beat Beerus and Champa as he went and rushed right towards Moro and he started to beat the shit out of him Moro was shocked to see Goku's power and said what the what the hell are you how are you able to do that it doesn't make any sense you're an evil monster and for that you don't deserve any mercy I'll lend you myself Moro <laughs> good thing I came prepared for this battle Moro went and he tried to hit Goku, but Goku blocked his hit and from there he went and kicked him right in his guts, getting Moro to gasp for air, but before he could make his next move, he saw that 72 has come right next to him, as Moro rushed right towards him and from there, he went and fused with 72, as both of them has now become one. <laughs> now Saiyan, this is the power I would run away from if I were you. So this is your true power I see, huh? Well then, before Goku can finish this sentence, he got punched in the face by Moro as he got sent flying meters away. Goku got up as he was amazed to see that Moro was able to hit him like that and with that, he went and he powered up his Kaioken as he rushed right towards him. Both Goku and Moro's power clashed at one another and they were going at it back and forth. With that, Moro went and he kicked him in the face as he powered up a blast and he aimed it towards Goku. Goku went and he tried to repel the attack but before he can do it, he saw another blast has come as it hit Goku head on and with that he went and he used all of his Kaioken, allowing the attack to be dispersed but in return, Goku has reverted right back to his base. <laughs> Aww, are we already done Saiyan? I have just begun dancing. Here I thought that you will be strong enough to beat me. After all, aren't you the same Saiyan that beat two destroyers? <laughs> you sure talk a lot Moro, but you're right I did beat two destroyers. I went right back to my base because I want to try out my new power against you. What? Goku has now tapped in to his Ultra Instinct. After training with Whis and trying to get this power, he was finally able to get it, as he is now using the Ultra Instinct power. Moro was very shocked to see Goku's new power as he couldn't believe that Goku was able to use his power and with that, he got scared and said, what the, how did you get that power? Oh my god, Goku finally did it! He managed to get the Ultra Instinct! Well Moro, are you ready to meet your end? <laughs> you won't be able to touch me! As Moro went and he rushed right towards Goku and he began to attack him non-stop. But Goku was dodging all of his attack instantly like if there were nothing. Moro was getting really angry since he wasn't able to hit Goku and with that he got angry towards Goku and said, Stop dodging my attack you coward and fight back! Goku went and he kneed Moro right in the stomach twice as Moro was gasping for air and with that Goku went and he decked him in his face getting Moro to be sent flying towards the air. Moro then managed to stop himself as he saw that Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha with as he instantly came right next to Moro and with that he aimed his way right towards him getting him to get head head on and from there Moro has died right there. Goku at his ultra instinct power was able to put a stop towards his evil wizard as he managed to go and end him once and for all and save the remaining Saiyans. Goku then went and he instantly went right back to planet earth with supreme Kai as he went and he summoned Shenron and he wished for all the Saiyans that Moro has killed along with all the other people that he has killed to be resurrected which allowed not only the Saiyans but also the Namekian on planet Namek to be restored. With that Goku has come right back to planet Vegeta as he was happy to see that his father was alive again, while everyone was amazed to see that Goku managed to bring back to life yet again, and that they have noticed that Goku is a beyond just a mortal, he is actually a savior for them, as they all couldn't stop thanking Goku. While that was happening, back on the Omni King's world, hmm, this Goku fellow is really interesting. I see that he managed to even learn power far greater than any mortal. 
but his IQ far surpasses even us the angels. How amazing. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku was able to use his Ultra Instinct power for the very first time since he was very fixated on trying to get that power and once when he did, he was now ready to go and use it in battle which he has done as he managed to go and beat Moro the evil wizard and from there. His power and IQ has now gotten a lot stronger and a lot better but that is not all. The entire multiverse is now known about Goku's power and his IQ. With that, the news about Planet Vegeta being restored spread around Universe 7. As one man who hated and wanted revenge from the Saiyans, his name was Granola got the news. With that, Granola went and he used his Dragon Ball on his planet as he managed to go and summon his dragon known as Tarambo and once when Tarambo came out, he granted Granola's wish which was to make him the strongest in the universe as his wish got granted and from there he was ready to go and end all the Saiyans but he wanted to have someone on his side so he began searching for a warrior that could be on his side. With that, a few months has passed since Goku beat Moro as he was at Beerus world with Vegeta, Bardock and even Raditz since they also wanted to get stronger and with that Whis got another angel to come and help him train Goku and his name was Miris as he was grateful to Goku for beating Moro and he wanted to help him on his power. They all been training for almost 3 months straight as they decided to go and take a break and now they came all to Goku's home and begun having a feast until they sent someone arriving to planet earth and it was on a spaceship. Once when a spaceship landed, the door opened and they saw it was Granola, along with one of his reinforcements. Granola was able to find Broly during his search, as Broly's dad died and with that, he got the cue that it is time for him to join Granola if he wants to get his revenge since he did offer him King Vegeta's head. And since Broly does have a hatred towards King Vegeta, he did exile him and his father to planet Vampa. He decided to join forces with Granola as they agreed to join him and with that they came to planet Earth so they can beat Goku and Vegeta. Broly on seeing Vegeta got him very angry as he couldn't control himself since he thought it was King Vegeta while Goku looked towards him and said, Who are you? And where did you get that warrior? His power is amazing! You can call me Granola, and we're here to end you all Saiyans. <laughs> you wish buddy. I see. Well then come at me. With that Granola went and he rushed right towards Goku as their battle has begun. While Vegeta and Broly's power clashed with each other and Broly began to attack Vegeta. Until Vegeta went and he used his Super Saiyan God power. Once when he did, Vegeta went and he rushed right towards Broly and he began to hit him in his face non-stop. While Broly was taking Vegeta's hit, with that, Vegeta saw that Broly was still getting stronger as they were fighting but from there Broly went to have the upper hand as he felt a push and he went and screamed. Broly has now transformed into his Super Saiyan as he's ready to go and kill Vegeta and with that he went and decked him right in his face. While that was happening, Goku went and he screamed. As Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue and said, You're pretty strong, but let me see if you can handle me inside this. Goku went and he used his Kaioken with his Super Saiyan Blue. As Granola saw that his power increased but he wasn't worried, he looked towards Goku and said, Psh, This will be easy. I'll enjoy killing you, you feeble Saiyan. 
as Granola began to go and use more power and with that, he managed to have enough strength to overpower Goku at his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20. Goku tried to go for the head but Granola was able to move out of the way as he powered up a blast and aimed it right towards Goku. Goku tried to block the attack but he saw that the blast was too strong which got him to get hit towards the ground and from there, the blast exploded on Goku. While that was happening, Vegeta saw that Broly outside his Super Saiyan power was overwhelming him as he continued to go and punch Vegeta in his face non-stop but with that Vegeta still had one power behind his sleeve as Vegeta went and he screamed. <laughs> Vegeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as his power was off the roof and with that he went and strike Broly right in his face getting Broly to be sent flying. Vegeta came right next to him as they were going back and forth. <laughs> Vegeta was overpowering Broly inside his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. While Broly didn't like being overpowered by him and seeing that Vegeta was able to do that, got him really angry as Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now used his legendary Super Saiyan power as he came right in front of Vegeta and striked him right in his gut, getting Vegeta to gasp for air and from there he started to attack him. While that was happening, Goku managed to get up from that blast as the smoke cleared and Granola saw that Goku was inside his Ultra Instinct power. <laughs> With Goku using Ultra Instinct power, he didn't stare right towards Granola and said, huh, It's time for me to end this once and for all, Granola. <laughs> There's no way you can beat me. I'll still end your life. After all, I made myself be the strongest in the universe. You made yourself? What do you mean? I used a Dragon Ball to wish to become the strongest. Huh, such a coward move to get power. Okay then, bring it on. Goku went and he rushed right towards Granola and striked him right in his face but saw that it was a decoy as the real one went and strike Goku right in his final spot getting Goku to spit out blood. Granola was able to overpower Ultra Instinct Goku. Since Goku is very strong, Granola did wish to become the strongest, thus making him stronger than Goku. Vegeta on the other hand was being overpowered by legendary Super Saiyan Broly as Broly continued to beat the shit out of him and with that, he went and powered up an eraser cannon aimed towards Vegeta, while Granola went and he uppercut Goku getting to be sent flying high in the air but from there Goku's body began to steam up as Granola saw that he began to have a new power coming out of him and with that Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> After training with angels and even continued to push past his limit, Goku was able to finally master his Ultra Instinct. This is Master Ultra Instinct Goku, as Granola had no idea what form Goku has taken upon himself but from there, he looked right towards him and said, what the? It doesn't matter what you do, your situation won't change, you're still gonna die here. Well then Granola, let the true battle begin. As Granola went and charged right towards Goku and started to attack him non-stop, but Goku was dodging all of his attack as he was really surprised to see that Goku was able to be faster than him and move out of the way. And despite the fact that he used a Dragon Ball to be the strongest, he should have also been the fastest as no one could come close to his speed, but he saw that Goku was able to counter all of his attack. With that, Goku went and striked him right in his stomach as he kicked him towards the ground. Granola then looked towards him as he was shocked to see that Goku was able to do that while Goku smiled and said, What's the matter Granola? I thought you wished to become the strongest, haven't you? I'll end you! 
as Granola went and rushed right towards Goku and he began to hit him. But this time Goku went and caught his fist and he twisted it as he striked him right in his throat, getting Granola to have trouble breathing and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of him as he didn't stand a chance against Goku. Goku was attacking Granola while overpowering him he went and powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and aimed it right at him as it hit Granola head on and from there he died. Goku saw that Broly was beating the lights out of Vegeta as he came right next to Broly grabbed him by his arm and told him to calm down but Broly didn't want to comply to Goku as he tried to hit him so Goku went and decked him right in his chest getting to be sent flying meters away. Broly then got up as he had trouble breathing but from there he saw that Goku was standing over him and told him Calm down Broly, otherwise you'll leave me no choice but to end you here once and for all. Broly didn't want to calm down as he went and powered up an eraser cannon and aimed it right towards Goku. Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Broly as he managed to overpower Broly's eraser cannon and he killed him with his Kamehameha wave. Goku inside his Master Ultra Instant Power was able to save the day yet again as he managed to be someone as strong as Granola who wished to be the strongest and since Goku didn't have Master Ultra Instinct during the time he used the Dragon Balls, Goku was able to surpass him by achieving this form during his battle as Goku has now beaten Granola. While that was happening, back on Zeno's world, Zeno was really bored and looked towards Dai Chicken and said, Dai Chicken, I'm very bored, I want to do something fun. Uh, what would you like me to do my lord? Well, I was thinking, there's so many unnecessary universes inside the multiverse. Maybe let's begin erasing them one by one. All the universes that are useless, I say get rid of them starting with universe 7. Ah, I see. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has just achieved Master Ultra Instinct as his power kept growing at a very quick pace and he was able to beat someone as strong as Granola who used the Dragon Balls to be the strongest in the universe. But little did Goku know he was being watched by the Grand Priest as he was intrigued by Goku's IQ and with that Zeno called him and said Dai Shinken, I am bored, I don't know what to do, also there's too many universes in the multiverse and most of them are useless if you ask me. I say let's begin erasing each universe that's not part of this multiverse anymore. Oh wow, that's a lot to take in my lord, but yes. And as for your boredom, there is one thing we can do. What is it Daishinken? Well, we can host a battle my lord, between two of the strongest mortal in the multiverse. They could go at it since they're the only one who is stronger than their own destroyer. Really? Okay, I like that idea. It'll be nice, and how about this? The winner gets to keep his universe! As Zeno left and from there Daishiken watched Goku and saw that Goku has invented something called the time machine. As he said, Oh, this isn't good. If he use that machine, he can alter timeline which is against the rule. I must take action. But if he's going to fight, we'll need him to entertain Lord Zeno. So I'll let this slide until the battle is over. With that, Daishiken went and he made his way towards Universe 7 at Beerus's world, where Goku, Vegeta and others were training until they saw Daishigen has appeared. Everyone was first shocked to see who he is, but they saw that Whis and Beerus went and they bowed down towards him and said, It's a pleasure seeing you again, father. Whoa, that's your father, Whis? <laughs> Likewise, Whis. I'm also here to inform you guys that the Omni King has called upon your present, Goku. He would like for you to fight another fighter who managed to beat their own destroyer. Oh really? <laughs> that's awesome! But that's also random too. Consider this as mercy on you guys since the Omni King has listed the fallen universe to be erased and right now your universe is on that list along with universe 11. But we're going to have universe 7 and universe 11 strongest fighter fight against one another and you can say in other words winner gets to keep their universe huh? That is correct. You only have one week to get ready. As Daishiken left towards Universe 11 and he also informed them about the match between Goku and Jiren. 
With that, Goku got serious in the matter since the faith of Universe 7 rests on his shoulders as he began to train with Whis and Mirrors for that moment. With that, as you know it, 7 days has passed and now it was time for Goku to go and fight with Jiren who was the warrior who managed to beat their own destroyer. And they spent as much time as they can to be ready for this battle while Goku went and he spent as many days as he can with Bulma before heading towards a battle that will be decided between the fate of the universe. With that, Daishiken has arrived as he went and he took them to the battlefield where Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Bardock and Gohan wanted to go and see the battle. With that, they have now arrived and once when they arrive, they arrive to the place where most of the angels go to train with one another. Goku was amazed to see that battle arena but at the same time, he was shocked to see Universe 11 strongest fighter as it was no one other than Jiren. This guy's power is incredible, but I won't let him beat me. The fate of the universe rests on my shoulders. I won't let myself to lose here either, as their battle has now begun. Goku without wasting any time went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Kaioken times 20! As he went and rushed right towards Jaren and kicked him in his face but saw that it barely moved him and with that Jaren looked towards him and said, what is this? Are you trying to give me a battle here or just waste my time? Jaren went and strike Goku right in his stomach as he instantly came right in front of him, kicked him high in the air and before Goku can react he came behind Goku and aimed a blast and said, it's over. As the blast hit Goku head on and he got sent flying towards the ground. Jaren then turned around as he was ready to go and claim his victory but he heard Goku get up and say, where do you think you're going? As Goku went and he powered up his Kaioken to times 25 and aimed a super Kamehameha wave towards Jiren. Once when the wave hit Jiren head on, everyone saw it made a loud explosion as the smoke cleared but they saw Jiren was glowing. Is that all you got Goku? Here I thought that you'd do some damage, but you hardly scratch me. Whoa, you really are someone I cannot mess with huh? It looks like I have to use my full power then. Okay Jaren, behold my ultra instinct power. <laughs> I am not impressed Goku. With that, Goku went and he rushed right towards Jiren, while Jiren did the same and both their power clashed with each other. Goku and Jiren were trying to do everything he can to overpower one another, but they weren't ready to throw in the towel. Jiren went and he tried to deck Goku. As Goku managed to dodge it but from there he went and kicked Jiren but Jiren managed to dodge it too as they were going at it and while they were fighting, Zeno was very impressed as he was excited to see who would win this battle. Goku and Jiren were going at it until Goku looked towards Jiren and said, you're very impressive Jiren, I have trained my whole life just to get where I am and you're able to revival me, I must admit that's not bad at all. <laughs> you're not the only one that trained, I also trained with my angel this last few weeks because I knew this is a do or die, and I'm not going to die here Goku, you hear me? It is time I put an end to this and go all out. As Jiren went and he screamed. Jiren has now gone and used his limit breaker which made his power go off the roof as he began to walk towards Goku but before he can do anything, 
Goku decided to go and use his full power as he went and screamed. <laughs> Goku has now used his Master Ultra Instinct, as the angels got up to give Goku respect since he did master his Ultra Instinct. Goku then looked towards Jiren and said, Well Jiren, are you ready to begin this battle? I have been ready since the start. As both of them stared at one another and with that, they went and rushed right towards each other as their battle has begun. Both Goku and Jiren went and they started to hit one another, gaining their power to clash with each other and they were going back and forth. Goku went and he kicked Jiren right in the guts, while Jiren managed to go and punch him in his face and they continued to do this for some time. While they were doing this, Dai Shiken was gone for a while, while Zena was busy watching the battle and he really enjoyed both Goku and Jiren going at it, as Jiren looked towards Goku and said, Not bad, you're pretty amazing Goku, but I won't save you from here, I'll still end your life. Yeah, <laughs> you wish Jiren, this is my time to save my universe, like I said before, Universe 7 rests on my shoulders. I'm not going to lose, I have far bigger things than to show you who's the stronger one. Now let me end this once and for all! There's nothing you can do, we are tied, but I still got a lot more energy compared to you. You really are underestimating me Jiren. With that Goku decided to go and display his 100% power, as he went and used his full power. Goku has now gone and used Kaioken mixing with his Master Ultra Instinct, as he was able to learn how to add that power to his body without damaging it by using just the right amount of ki. With that Goku went and rushed right towards Jiren and striked him in his jaw, getting it to break as he got sent flying. Goku then followed and went and kicked him right in his guts as he began to beat the shit out of Jiren. Jiren was confused on how he was being overpowered by Goku, while Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Jiren. Jiren tried to hold it off but Goku went and used more of his Kaioken as it managed to go and hit Jiren head on and he passed out. Goku has now proven to be the strongest here as Daishigen returned and said, well it has been decided, you have won while Universe 11, you lost and it's time for your universe to be erased. Goku looked towards Jiren as he said, thank you for fighting me Jiren, you're by far the strongest fire I have ever fought and I really appreciate it. <laughs> You also are something else, Goku. As Zeno went and he erased Universe 11. But with that, Daishinken looked towards Zeno and said, My lord, there's something I need to tell you. What is it, Daishinken? Apparently, son Goku here has been doing some illegal investigation and he managed to go in and invent something which is not allowed in the multiverse. Huh? What do you mean? Huh? What are you talking about? Goku. Have you, have you not made the time machine? I have. And also my lord, I have found this. This is a protocol to one thing that Goku was making. It wasn't finished yet, it was in his lab, but he was trying to make the time ring. Is this true Goku? And it was not just him, he was also doing it with his wife. Both of them are responsible for these invention. That is not true! Only I'm the one that's responsible for this, not my wife! You did some a move that's not allowed inside this multiverse, Goku. You can say it's illegal to do something like this, and for that, you have to pay. You got two choices, Goku. Either you will be erased, or your universe and you will be erased. Choose one. Well, it is what it is, I see, huh? This is it, guys. Take care. Tell Boma I love her, and also tell Goten I love him too. I love you, son, Gohan. And also, Vegeta, the time will come for you to finally surpass me. Goodbye my friends. As Goku stepped forward and said, I'm ready to take step two. Erase me. Save my universe and my people. You got it Goku. As Zeno went and he erased Goku right there. And now he has been erased from existence. Since Goku is born a genius, inside is what if. His smartness is what killed him. Since he was too intrigued on making new inventions but he didn't know. 
that there's rules in a multiverse that you're not allowed to do and he went and crossed those rules by breaking them by making something called the time machine and the time ring allowing Goku to finally be erased but in return the hero managed to go and save his universe as he made sure universe 7 was alive and they lived on without him this is what would have happened if Goku was born a genius since Goku was dumb in the canon he was able to be Zeno's friend and convince him to hold a something called a tournament of power instead of erasing all the universe that way everyone has a chance but inside this what if since Goku is a genius he knew not to go near Zeno because that's dangerous and therefore Zeno went and erased all the universe and Goku got erased too this is the result if Goku was genius and if you ask me I say it's good that Goku was born dumb because Dragon Ball is what it is right now this is what I believe would have happened if Goku was born a genius my Z fans thank you very much for liking and supporting this series I greatly appreciate all you guys out there and if you haven't joined my discord server yet what are you guys waiting for click the link in the description below and join it and make sure you join my Instagram page by clicking the link in the description below and please everybody give Vegeta T23 some love and support he makes what if on Vegeta help him reach to 10,000 subscribers I'm Goku T23 and as always my T23 fans have an insane day Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell, that way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell, it's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.